fun. I want to go over to uh, the village without a mayor, Jotnia, where there was oh. a break in uh, yesterday for, uh, at the uh, Gumadzoamti, which is right there by the uh, church. And we have uh, Zita um, to talk about it. Good morning, Zita. When is uh, Chris and Sabrina? Good um, morning. So that was just the terrible. Uh, what broke happened. my heart seeing that. Yeah. Can you just take us back to the, the beginning, uh, you know, when you found out that uh, the uh, Guma was just ransacked, broken into, and all that? Um, actually, it was broken. I mean, I discovered it on Sunday, and uh, we're still trying to reel, we're reeling from the shock of what was done. And so um, I went there to drop off a filing cabinet and um, yeah, just open it and shut it down again because it was just too traumatic to see. Um, it was ransacked and torched in many places, including the massage uh, tables and chairs. I mean, the, yeah, it was just pretty sad. It was shocking. Yeah, I, I just can't believe uh, somebody would, would do this, um, especially like with torching the place and what did did they steal anything, or they just went in there just to wreak havoc? Um, that was the other part that was really. Um, I finally the next day um, I called. I mean, I had called the healers that night, and we discussed it, and um, came back on Monday and called the police and the fire department and uh, the healers who served as Susan Ugin and Betty Malachi, who served as Jonia, um, came because they're the ones that operate, and you know. Um, they would know what was stolen. Um, the saddest part about it is, um, you know, when people don't have funds, right? They give gifts, or out of um, the miracles that happen, they're gifted with really special, special gifts. And so, um, Susan was given this hope chest that's an antique. It goes dates back to the 800, 1800s. Mm-hmm. Um, and then she was also like they knew that she was um, she wanted one of her um, what she wanted to do was sew, and someone gifted her with a brand new sewing machine and a TV set. You know she's very simple. So these healers, you know, like people are just so ecstatic when um, when they they are served well and they get healed and um, they give these healers and also you know like food right so they bring canned goods and frozen foods and stuff and and um, even a rice cooker I think they, they gifted them with a really nice rice cooker cause, right yeah and you know, Zita I mean uh, uh, they get a lot of gifts because I know a lot of them don't the healers don't want to accept money mm-hmm. for what they do so you know when I've gone to the Serrano they you know give fish give you know avocado give mango and so uh, it sounds like these uh, gifts let's go back to that camper chest uh, so was that stolen was it damaged what happened to these gifts that these healers get it was all gone. They stole it. Yeah. All gone. Who would do something like this, Zita? I think it's our people who are broken and uh, don't have a understanding of who they are and the uh, people that don't have that self-respect and the beliefs in our traditions and our values and this is why we've been in existence since 15 16 years ago and um, this is all the work we're doing is it's not just the physical healing it's the healing of the mind and the heart and this is what our healers have been talking about that when we are disconnected to who we are and to our land and our sustainable ways of living this is what occurs and um you know, we're, we're dealing with uh, COVID, right? And I sit with Mama Chai, she's 84, right? And she runs the Guma Zoamti in Tumani. And I sent Mama Chai off a stee. And she, you know, like our, our healers know that there's a history behind this. She said, when they smell this thing from the land, they knew something was going to happen. So she had, um, under something was going to happen. A premonition. Kind of, a premonition that this, yeah, that something was going, whether a typhoon or whatever. And so she said, 
she knew the earth needed healing and that, you know, iman amku masangan na kumu estagwa. There was a term and I couldn't remember, but I can't remember it right now. But she, you know, it's like, it's wonderful to listen to what our manamkus are saying and our healers especially and how to heal. Um, and so, but we don't. We don't. And for these years that we've been trying to revitalize our healing tradition to heal not just physical, but spiritual and mentally and physically, um, emotionally, our trauma. Um, you know, and so it, it's, it's, it's okay. We, we know that this is part of life and we got to, we, we understood that this was part of the pain and the traumas and people are so disconnected and this was our mission. How do people help, Azita? How can people help? They're seeing these images, uh, you know, not exactly a Good Friday vibe. So people want to help. How do they help you guys? Well, we um, we want to rebuild, definitely. And um, we also have another healer. <sighs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to rebuild, and all this was done out of love. We very have we have no we have very little money, we, but we built three centers um, with the, the assistance of two mayors and and Gomazomti. So we have three centers, and definitely it this makes it more clear that Jonia needs help. And you know, um, I want to give you some statistics um, about our Gomazomti. Chris, if that's okay. So that's fine. Know. Please do. Okay. In 2016, when we first opened in May, we had 1,322 clients. In 2017, we almost doubled that at 2,394. In 2018, we tripled it at 5,880. Last year, we had 6,116 throughout our three centers. Is growing. Many people are been coming. Many people are being served, and I'm sure that the people that came and did this did not get the services of a healer, and didn't understand fully the significance of that place. And so, um, how do they help? It. Um, we definitely want to recon. We need to gut it out. We need to reconstruct. We, and you know, one of the things the the um, is the like even just to get our massage table that cost us so much you know but um we, we need all the assistance so they can donate anything um you know funds or we because of this executive order we are very careful as to how many people can go there and gut it out and take out what we can and try and reconstruct it before the you know we open uh, i mean when the governor lets us open and so uh, more than ever I think um, we need to to get it back on track so that people can come for more healing uh, I know you guys are healers but man my grandma's curse was really strong is are we gonna do any you know cursing on these people their hands gonna be crooked or you know what I mean they're gonna Chris never never <laughs> Never, never, never. That's not the kind of healers we have. And Mama Chai was like, Mama Chai is like Port Lu. Yeah. Do you want a Port Lu? Does she? Does any of the healers though have any sense of who they believe may have done something like this? And also, on to back of that question, what have you heard from the authorities? Um, you know, just yes. Uh, so I guess chat's going like wildfire right like um but the uh, other day i mean the night before um right in the area another house was um, um broken into or they they were trying to so they got the guy on camera mm. um so i'm not sure i hope that there's some kind of connection um but yeah we're just um i, I think um, we don't know where that's going to go, but what we need to focus on, and this is our healers who say, okay, you know, um, this is why we're here. 
this is the, exactly the reason why we're here is we need to heal that because otherwise it's just going to get worse and no we don't cur- we're not that kind huh. and please make sure you know if we're not that kind i know i know it's just... love and peace that built this and we got to focus on the great and the grace of god and the grace of god is going teaching us to truly overcome and love conquers all so did the but police none like, of, no curse chris right no i got you zita i was only kidding kind of but did the police uh, get back to you guys or anything I'm, um, you know, I can't pick up the police report because, um, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. so let's just, uh, let that go. But, you know, the only thing is, you know, I, pour, I feel so bad. I mean, I, I'm not the healer, uh, but the healers who gave of their hearts and then received and all of it's gone, that's pretty bad. And then, mm-hmm. you know, uh, and then to top it off, she's having problems. So, Yes, we do take money because the gas that it takes for our healers to travel from Jigo and Jordan jo- right, to right. Agate and Jordan. Yeah. Yes, we do take cash because, mm-hmm. um, you know, when they, uh, it's just, but they don't, we don't have a fee, a schedule of fees, mm-hmm. definitely. If people have any information or who may have seen something, who should they call? Should they call you guys? No, send I think we you should call the police. Just call no, the police. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, call the police. Okay. I mean, they they can let us know and then, right. Um, right. you know. But right now, I I don't think um you know I think they should just call the police. Right? Okay. Yeah. I, yeah. Well, Zita, I want to thank you. I know this is very tough, but I I really wanted to get you on because uh, I I know how I mean, just terrible. I wanted to share it out there so that you know maybe in seeing um this type of thing happening, the village and the villages around the island we can maybe be a little more vigilant tonight and look out yes. for things because uh, we just know the reality of the police department is stretched thin. They're doing what they can with, you know, the little that they have. So again, the neighborhood watches and just everybody just kind of like keep an eye out, you know? Yeah. But also, you know, like let's start giving, let lend a helping hand wherever we can. Like if we have little um, g- goods to pass out you know mm-hmm. that kindness yeah. I think that's the key is mm-hmm. the kindness to show love to everyone so that it can change people's hearts you know and heal that way so I, if anything it's not just to be vigilant about that but to open our hearts to give and to help each other in this time and that perhaps that love and that kindness will go a long way thank you Zita Take care. Yeah. God okay. bless you. Adios. Okay, wash your hands. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> Nine fifty-six. Well, you know, we usually try and end the show on a good note, but I just mm, I get that. I'm just angry about that, Bree. Which one? That's about everything. It's just been a 